this is a great question. I feel like it needs to be explained more. So when I was working as an archivist, I was working in um, an archive and special collections unit that was part of a library and that was working in conjunction with a museum, like a teaching museum. So in the archive, we had what's called the Pacific Northwest Artist Archive, which is a collection of like a couple dozen um, artists' papers and their ephemera. And, you know, so basically like letters, important documents, bills, everything that has to do with an artist's career, every material piece of that artist's career, aside from the actual art that they create. That was held by the museum that we worked in conjunction with. So basically what I did was I looked through like hundreds of boxes of artists' stuff and I ordered it and I added like, you know, a, a, a collection guide basically so that you can go in and find the stuff from those artists in the, you know, in the actual archive. I also wrote papers and did exhibitions and stuff with some of the stuff that I found in there. But the, the way that I would recommend trying to figure out your way into this industry, it's kind of tough. It does require a master's degree, which I don't have, which is why I now run ArtFit. Um, but if you're trying to get into it or try to figure out more um, information about it, what I'd recommend doing is finding um, a library with an archive and special collections unit. Uh, the special collections is really important because that generally means stuff that isn't just papers. So it's like anything <laughs> that isn't papers, basically. So like in our case, that was like gospel books, models, weird stuff in general. Um, it was an awesome job and I would def definitely recommend that more people get into the archives field. For archives professionals, I think I would recommend that we maybe like consider the barriers to entry that we have in our profession and reconsider like which jobs at our facilities require higher education degrees. Um, and I would just, I would say that like arch the archives is tough because there's not a lot of money in it, but really. Um, but it is like the one, like the most important field in terms of creating repositories for like human knowledge. So that's my long-winded reply to this comment. That's what I wanted to say, but I was limited to like 200 words. So if you listen, thanks for listening and um, hope that you learned something.